My computer is responding to my negative emotions right now. And it gets fucking better, too. Welcome to the Savannah Zone. One resident of the zone is the ANMC known as the Suckler. Here we go, folks. Sucklers are mature in a neotenized state, looking much like infants. Because if you wanted to live forever as an as a some sort of super mutant being, you'd want to look like a baby. I remind you, these were people once. Imagine always being held in your mother's arms, always being loved. Uh, if this sounds like a good deal to you, you need a motherfucking psychiatrist. Just kidding, you might want to join the Sucklers. Sucklers are different from other ANMCs in both shape and ecology. If their DNA weren't so similar, we'd think they were a different species. What are the special features of the Suckler? In the developmental stage known as the Bone Suckler, they crawl in packs searching for prey. When prey is found, a Suckler will rapidly divert blood to its head, causing a cranial explosion. When they find something to eat, they blow up their own head. Yeah! The future of humanity! The resulting shower of bone shards pulverizes prey for the rest of the pack to feed upon. After pupating, the suckler leaves its larval state and becomes a winged adult MIND SUCKLER! From the air, the mind suckler finds prey and uses its oviposter to fire larva into the prey's head region. The larva parasitizes the host's cranium, leading to the host of the larval bone suckler nest. After the host is consumed, the larva exits the safety of the cranium, now a full-grown bone suckler. This kind of complete metamorphosis and altruistic behavior is seen in higher insects, such as ants. Except the part where they blow up their own heads, where they find something to eat! The group society that the sucklers epitomize might be one possible future for human evolution! Except that it's not! Due to their delicate skin, sucklers only move by night. We apologize for any inconvenience. <laughs> the number of things that are wrong with what I just read. And there's more, too. Over here. Let's see what's over here now. Welcome to the world of the ANMC. The world of tomorrow. Keep your eyes open for bouncing ANMCs with big ears. These are scavengers. They may be small, but they have big appetites and can eat carrion. The garbage men of the forest. The future of humanity. While they form packs to hunt weaker prey, they are not effective fighters. Since they are largely nocturnal, you won't see them during the day. Scavengers, those things strip my car. Yeah, the things with the big ears that act look like huge scorpions because that's what they fucking are. That's what they're talking about. Oh, it gets fucking better on the other side, too. Should I show you guys? I'm going to fucking show you. It's... Ugh. I'm sorry, but it's the... Uh, the plot of Parasite Eve 2 basically breaks down to down to the island of Gendo Moro. Okay, that's literally what's going on here, and it's... Oh, my God. All right. This way. Welcome to the Rainforest Zone. This zone is home to the a and we call Strangers. These are some of the first ever made, the original ANMCs. Vestigial hands and powerful legs, vestigial hands, the future of humanity, give all stranger braids an ostrich-like silhouette. These are the things we were killing in Dryfield and in the Nakatomi, I'm sorry, the Ac Acropolis Tower. Strangers also possess the ability to mimic their original human form via apoptosis, cell suicide, the future of humanity. However, the physical strain of the transformation limits it to a few minutes at best. Though test subjects who dislike the traditional ANMC form often choose this breed. These are the ANMCs I fought in the Acropolis Tower. The rainforest stretches on. I feel faintly I can faintly hear running water. There must be a stream nearby. Okay, other side. Ugh. Everyone, take a good look. Something not quite right? That shift in space isn't a mirage. What you are not quite seeing is a stalker, a camouflaged AMC. 
the camel dudes and that big hairy camel dude we fought in the underground, that's what these are. Making the forest their home. Stalkers take a lesson from monkeys. Their feet are fully prehensile, like those of the tree monkey. Additionally, its control of skin pigmentation is far superior to even that of a chameleon. Its enhanced pigmentary cells can alter color and pattern to instantly match any background. This combination of traits makes the stalker king of the jungle, until it gets eaten by a lion or a tiger. This must be that creature I met at the shelter entrance. So this is its home. Rainforest, as far as I can see. No end in sight. Mostly broadleaf indeciduates. How Aya knows this. Or why she would call it that instead of what it really is. Which, fuck, I don't know. I have no clue. Probably for the same reason she refers to Maida by his last name. Or his first name. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> K. Maida. That's, that, that is just poor, okay? We can't go through the door over there because it's locked. And we're coming up on pretty much where I left off last time, and I'm going to get my ass handed to me, so I need to equip something uh, with a little bit of punch in it. I'm going to equip the uh, grenade pistol. Or not. Let's see. Yeah. Equip the grenade pistol. The reason I'm doing that is because these guys hurt a lot. Oh shit! Oh, this this is not gonna end well. Bring a solution. Okay, where is my SB12? Haha! All right. I need to fill that slot with a recovery two. Move. There you go. And we are pretty much here. Shrine. Why would you need a shrine in this place? I guess you can add chaplains to that list that I was talking about. All right. Now, here we go. There's this sliding tablet puzzle thing here that I fucking hate these things with a passion. Um, and it says it's just a puzzle for visitors. There's also a box here which Aya cannot move. When you run down here, there is a door that is locked, which means you're probably f being forced to go through with this in order to do whatever the fuck they want you to do in this game, whatever. Anyways, oh, this is pretty much the point at which I stopped recording last time. So everything from here on, um, I, I'm really fuzzy on. Uh, so I will render this and I will return. So I'll see you then.